Hey, what's going on, guys? Sam and Ian here. Today, we're going to be showing a, uh, <coughs> more of a, uh, we're going to be, whew, we're going to be showing off a concept idea for a layout for the, uh, Chernobyl, uh, part that I'm going to like, uh, clear inventory. So, here's the, uh, con the, uh, all of the, con like, uh, the control console, obviously. We got a lot of control rods and boilers and stuff like that. Look at all these control rods. Who needs this many? Obviously, yeah. You want to see how many control rods we have? That's all of them. It's not, it's not really even surrounded, but it works. And then we have a <laughs> crap ton of graphite moderators. We got, uh, probably, like, maybe 15, 20, uh, yeah, 25. <coughs> there it is, in all of its glory. And I do, I, I am going to, uh, obviously build a containment vessel around this as well, even though this is not gonna, this is not the final design for the, uh, <coughs> Chernobyl power plant layout. <coughs> I'm not gonna use this design in the power plant because I th I came up with this idea and <laughs> it looks wonky in my opinion. Oh, there, just there, there, that. Not to mention it keeps leaking radiation out of it, which is I guess it doesn't have a, uh, like a steel vessel or anything. It doesn't even have a biological shield. I mean, I guess the, uh, the cover counts as one. But anyway, here's the turbines. We got two, obviously, because the Chernobyl power plant had two, uh, turbines for each reactor. Then we have our power output here. Basically, how it works. We have the, uh, water pipe on top. Uh, area with the uh, the uh, steam fluid ducts in the middle and stuff. <clears throat> so basically, a steam up into here goes into uh, these two turbines, which then puts it into low pressure steam, which then radiation poisoning. Wow. That's wild. Which then goes into the uh, steam condensers over here. This is pretty much the same lining up. This the steam condensers and the uh, Chernobyl power plant uh, map are actually connect, like surrounded by water in the front, and the uh, the low pressure is actually under underneath. So like in this area, and then the uh, water is right here. So it looks like it's going into the lake, cooling it down, and then coming back down into here. Which makes it look more realistic in my opinion. We have our big water tanks obviously for uh, make sure everything stays where it should be. It's been running for a while now. It's doing alright. I'm surprised it hasn't exploded. So you even got a little bit of extra steam, so you could actually throw like a, maybe a third turbine in there. It's not balanced by any means, but there it is. It stays at a really good, a, a relatively good temperature. Now this is not this is not going to go into the uh, Chernobyl power plant, I don't think, unless. Uh, I, I might. I don't know. Yet. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.